Hi, I'm Darren. These are my hands, and it seems like it's been forever since I've made a video for you. It's been months. I hope your summer's been really good. I hope you've been enjoying your fall, too. I've had a great summer. Things are going well. Thanks for letting me uh, take some time off, and I gotta tell you that uh, even though I haven't been making videos, I've got a whole stack of stuff here that I'm excited to share with you over the next little while. And I figured I just need to open a few things, organize my thoughts and make a quick little video. Say hi, I'm back and let's take a look at some cool things. So I'm going to clear off the desk here and we're just gonna see what there is to see. There's not enough room to put these things places. Go over here. It's like show and tell day, it's great. I have no idea what order I'm going to open these things in, but apparently I'm opening something from Zoop right now. And if you love Gru, you know what's going on here. It is comics for Ukraine, sunflower seeds, and like everything that I'm opening today, we're going to take a close look at this later, but for now, I just want to show you what I got. This is the Arthur Adams cover and look at the color of that. Oh, I was excited to see what it was going to be like. And without showing you everything that's in here, cause we had a little bit of a preview earlier this summer. Oh, you saw Gio Jimbo page 28. We're looking for Gru the Wanderer, the Conquerors page 26. There it is. Check it out. Grew the Wanderer Conquers. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages of Grew goodness, colored by Tom Luth, lettered by Stan Sakai, drawn by Sergio Aragonez, of course, and written with help from Mark Evanier. This is going to be a good one to get into probably very, very soon. Comics for the Ukraine, the only place you're going to read Grew the Conquerors. What's next? Something from Amazon. Oh yeah, of course. It's the Gods Against Gru graphic novel trade paperback. Check it out. Of course, last year, what's this? Oh, it's the barely used books bookmark. Of course, last year you collected all the Gods Against Gru comics, but now you got to get yourself the trade paperback. And I've got myself a copy of it here and it is great. Something that I just had to have as part of my collection. And I think something that we may take a look at later on this year or maybe early next year. Ha, oh, this is a beaut though, isn't it? It certainly is. All right, next, next up. I don't know if I have video of opening these two books, but stuff that I picked up late in the spring, early this summer, uh, things that I thought that I really wanted to have that I just didn't get when they came out. This copy of Chibi Usagi, Attack of the Heebie Chibis is like a, a second, a library book, but it is in really good condition. And I was just glad to get it. Look, it's kind of like grew on the cover here. And, oh, check this out. Scott McCloud's Understanding Comics, The Invisible Art. This is just an amazing reference slash how to understand the art behind comic books. Oh, it's really neat. It's going to help give me language to describe things that I see that I've had a hard time describing in the past. And, of course, Gru is in this book. So, too great, new to me but maybe old to you books that I'm looking forward to. Grew in the Wild. You're, you're getting Grew in the Wild, right? I think yesterday was a uh, comic book day where Grew in the Wild number three came out. Um, this just happened to be on my pile of stuff. Oh, look, it's from Hill City Comics and Cards. Uh, yeah, make sure you get your copy of Grew in the Wild number three this week if you haven't got it already. And uh, number four will be out next month. Get the whole series. Okay, so what do we get here? Madly Yours, Sergio Aragonez. Shootin' Mad, Sergio Aragonez. Mad's Spy vs. Spy, the follow-up file. And the updated files. And then three Don Martin books. 
Mad's maddest artist, Don Martin, bounces back. Don Martin comes on strong with the help of Dick DiBartello. And Mad's Don Martin cooks up more tales. Which one is it? It's not that one. It's got to be this one. Bounces back. Yes, the gorilla. Ah, so when I was in Winnipeg early this summer, you know, I always check out Kijiji to see what kind of Sergio stuff I might find, uh, what's out there that looks interesting to me. And somebody was selling these. I think they were like a buck each. So it's like, yeah, I'm totally picking up these guys. I don't care that they're, they're used. They're well-loved. They're <laughs> destroyed. Whatever. I'm glad to have it. And when we were on the big, long road trip and out of the cabin, my boys and me, we got to read, oh, like classic Don Martin, Sergio, and what young boy doesn't love Spy vs. Spy? Great books to have out at the camp. That's what we call cabins or cottages up where I live. Okay, this box here. Look at that. So I was very excited to, I think I picked this up on Kijiji as well. Kijiji is like the Canadian version of Craigslist, I guess. There was a fella in Canada, which for me is so awesome because it costs me, I, I will tell you stories sometime about how much it costs me to bring in comics or records from the States, like a comic, 20 bucks, US to Canada. It's insane. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm just, I just can't do it. I cannot do it. But this, this stack came from Canada. Now I already have my original Gru the Adventurer. I'm just going to take it out of here because I'm just going to do that. So I've got my original Gru the Adventurer already, but this was part of the lot. So I picked it up, but Adventurer. The Gru Bazaar. The Gru Carnival. I know, like, and look at, look at how nice these things are. People on eBay are asking like easy $40 and up. Some of the Dark Horse trade paperbacks are going for like 80, 90 US expose. How many of these are there? Festival. And the garden. One, two, three, four, five, six of them, including shipping. Shipping was 20 bucks in Canada for all of these. I don't mind that. And they're just all in such awesome condition. 80 bucks shipped to me. So it's basically $10 each plus shipping. I'm never going to find a deal like that again. You'll notice that I do not have the Gru Dynasty. Dynastia. Um, I really wish that that was in this batch. It wasn't. You know, someday I will find it and add it to my collection. I'll find it in Canada and it'll be awesome. But for now, check it out. Oh, and you know, I've got this thing. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to show you, but oh, we're going to do a video about trade paperbacks and the secrets hidden in them. Oh, it's going to be great. Okay. And these last three things, I kind of got burned on them. I found something that I wanted and the same seller was selling two other things like at incredibly good prices and I couldn't say no to them, but just the way the auctions worked out, it was weird. And I tried to do combined shipping and it's all my fault. I'm not blaming the seller at all. Um, but it's like, I just cannot justify eBay from the States. I can barely justify anything from the States these days. It's just way too expensive. Ugh. Open. There we go. So let me just show you what's in here. Oh, yeah. At least it's on board. That's nice. So I got Blair Witch. This will probably have to do sometime in October. Here's a buck ninety nine. I couldn't say no. I should have said no because I paid 
10 times that amount to get it shipped. $1.99 turns into like $3 Canadian, $20 shipping. Cost me 33 bucks to get this. Not worth it. Controversial opinion. <laughs> um, and what do I want to show you next? I guess I'll show you this one here. This is kind of cool. This was also like an add-on purchase, but uh, we were able to combine shipping on this stuff. Yeah, you see what it is. Fanboy! Oh, it's all, all together here. Come on out. This is the first time I'm seeing it too. Number one. Number two, number three, number four, number five, which I already have. Thank you, friend of the channel, Loran, for sending a couple fanboys into me earlier this year. And number six. So the full series of fanboy, yeah, in pretty good condition. Not fantastic, super awesome condition, but good enough for a collector like me who only paid $1.99 for them right? Of course. So I was very happy to get these. This is this and what was in here was like, oh, I think I'm going to try to combine shipping and get a really good deal on eBay. And it turned out to be like the price for the stuff I was totally fine with. The shipping, you know, what are you going to do? I'm not going to rant about shipping anymore. I'm so happy to have those. Those are going to be so exciting. We're going to do like a fanboy series. Er, er, er and open uh, which one is it it is the Gru library that's just gross tape be very careful taking it out looks like the tape's been there since whenever it was published is this one of the dark horse ones it is so a little bit of schmutzy schmutz what year 2001 so slide adventurer bazaar carnival no dynasty expose festival garden efg no hound book what is i i can't think of i right now what is i whatever i is no jamboree h i j no kingdom j j k got the library no maiden no nursery but but I do have my Odyssey from back in the day. There's my original adventure that I bought when I was in university. I'm just going to take that out because look at that. Oh, they just look so great together. It's how they belong. They belong like this. Anyway, oh, I'm so happy to be getting my, my collection together. Is that everything? I think it's everything. What do you think? Am I a lucky boy? I am. I am a lucky boy. Look at all this stuff. This is great. I've got months and months and months worth of videos here. Anyway, thanks for your patience. Thanks for letting me enjoy uh, a little bit of time off. Oh man, these are just beautiful, aren't they? And if you're excited to see more videos about this kind of stuff, make sure that you are subscribed. If you want to watch another video right now, I'm sure the algorithm thinks that you would like that one. Or maybe this one down here. I don't know where they are. Anyway, it's just really good to be back. Take care. I'll see you soon, friends.